Okay. Cameron? Yeah. I'm on live right now. Okay. Hey, beautiful people. It's Kelsey Thomas here from Clean World. And I'm bringing to you today 10 ways to use dish soap. Whichever kind of dish soaps, everybody's buying all the dish soap in the store. So I just wanted to come to you with a couple ways that you could use it that you don't normally, you know, use. So don't forget to like, comment, share, send to a friend, spread the message. Yeah. Okay, so I'll wait for a couple other folks to join. I was having some technical difficulties trying to do Facebook and Instagram at the same time. Got some folks that don't use Facebook, some folks don't use Insta, so I'll wait for a couple others to join. But until then, guess I could check in with everybody. How is everybody doing? Is everybody staying clean and sanitizing and washing your hands as you should? Michael. I'll wait for some other folks to join. I'm going to hit, go ahead and get started. Try to keep this video short. Um, but number one on how to use dish soap, I personally use Dawn um, because it does have a certain type of degrees that I use for most of my cleanings. And the first thing that you could use dish soap for is a hair degreaser. So when you degrease your hair, you can use, usually when it doesn't lather after you take out braids or um, some natural uh heat protectant style it is greasy so sometimes I use a dish soap about a quarter size to degrease my hair and it, it gets the lather and it strips the oils away but you do have to remember to add that moisture back inside okay so a hair degrees of this number one number two personal wipes so this little uh trick cutting a paper towel roll in half usually probably when it gets down to half cutting that roll in half and then putting it in a container, part one part water, one part soap, and then one part alcohol, and it makes your own personal wipes. So if you don't have any at the store, this is what you can use. You can use the Dawn. Um, it degreases and has the alcohol in it to clean as well, and then the water keeps it moist. Number three is uh, your greasy range and your hood above your stove. A lot of folks do not take the time to go ahead and um, soak those. What you want to do is take it down and remove it. Its job is to collect grease all day. So take it down, set it in some hot water, and um, uh, just put some grease, put some hot grease, dish soap in it, a couple drops, but that degreaser soaks up all the grease that is in there, and your change will become clean. So after probably 30 minutes, you can use a brush to go over top of it to wash it and it will come clean um just like stainless steel you can put it back so no need to go and get another one if it's not ripped or broken you can always replace your hood or your hood liners after it becomes degrees so that was number three number four is your greasy cabinets so taking a hot cup of hot um bowl of water adding a couple drops of dish detergent as well and lathering and microfiber cloth or some type of rag. And now we're paused. Okay. Get it back. Um, taking that and adding it to the water will help with the grease on the cabinets. A lot of folks don't pay much attention to their cabinets. But if you go to it and it's sticky, what are we talking about? We are talking about 10 ways to use dish soap um, for cleaning besides the dishes. So that's what we're talking about. Hello Webster. Um, so what was I saying? Greasy, degreasing your cabinets. So using the water and the Dawn dish soap, hot water or warm water to lather it up and it does get some of that grease off of your cabinets. All around the kitchen, you can do wall wipes as well. Um, some people don't pay attention to their ceilings, but your ceiling above where you cook, if you don't have cathedral ceilings, 10 foot ceilings, um, the grease does pop there too. So this mixture does help degrease those things, okay? Number five, carpet stains. So some folks have carpet stains that are there that won't come up. If you let them sit too long, they do saturate. I know how to get everything out but Kool-Aid. But a mixture that I do use is a couple drops of Dawn, maybe 
a tablespoon of Dawn, one fourth cup of vinegar, and then fill in the rest of the bottle, let's say a 12 ounce bottle um, with water. I just bought some Dawn. Well, check it out. This is all the ways you can use it. Um, filling that water bottle up and then letting, spraying it, on the, spraying it on the stain and letting it sit for 10 minutes or so and letting it soak down in there. And then getting a brush to scrub it out and it'll come right out. Take a rag and wipe it down, some of the soap suds, and it'll come right out. Especially for pet stains with urine. A lot of folks have the pets and they can't get it out. This is something that you do use because it gets out the stain and the odor. The vinegar gets out the odor and the Dawn does get out the stain. Okay? So, this is for your carpet stain just to make that mixture. We talked about mixing chemicals the other day. This is one safe product that you can mix the Dawn and the vinegar. Okay, and the water. Um, the next one, number six, is jewelry. Um, a lot of folks want to take their their um, jewelry to the store. You know, some some jewelry stores charge you. Some of it it is in your program or your package or your membership that you do get. But if you don't have that and you buy it from wherever, you can clean um, silver, gold, white gold, platinum, whichever. Again, a couple drops, warm water, sticking it in a bowl. It will um, lift some of the dirt. That you're wearing today, that you use your grease, your oils, everything that's in your hands, it'll it'll get some of it off. So you can again take a brush, scrub it out, and then pat your jewelry dry, and your jewelry is like brand new again. Okay, um, that's jewelry. So number seven is removing the um, grime off of outdoor furniture. We're getting ready for the spring. If we can't go outside, y'all, because of COVID nineteen, um, hot soapy water. Hot soapy water and getting your um, outdoor furniture. Okay, everybody's coming in. It's your outdoor furniture that you have outside. Having soapy water, you can rub down on your outdoor furniture and with a rag, and it usually gets it off that grime because usually water just won't do. The holes just won't do. So getting that soapy water and scrubbing it down with a rag usually helps. Okay, so that's outdoor furniture. Number eight, removing oil stains from clothes, concrete, driveways. Some people have driveways and you have the oil stains. So if your car is um, leaking oil, you can put um, Dawn or dish soap on top of that stain and a brush. Scrub it out. Let it sit for 30 minutes or 45 minutes or so. Wash it away with warm water and that oil stain is gone. So once it, you brush it in there and it sets for a while, it will start to um, absorb that oil and you just wash it away. You can use it for, it's another way you can use Dawn dish soap, especially for ice patches when it is ice outside. It's more chemicals you add to that, but this is just for removing the stain from your driveway or concrete. For clothes, especially if you had something greasy and it drips in and you get a hole in your lip, uh, you can put Dawn or dish soap on top of that stain and let it sit for 30 or 40 minutes and let it pre-soak and then you can um, wash it out and then the stain disappears and it's gone. So that's another way that you can use Dawn to remove stains out of your concrete and your clothes. Um, the ninth one was to deep clean your broom. This is my favorite, especially with plastic brooms. Um, once at the bottom of your broom, it starts to collect and it starts to get really sticky and ooey and gooey. That's all the dirt and debris and dust that you are sweeping. So it is recommended that you do deep clean it sometimes. Um, dip it in a bucket, hot water, a couple scrapes of Dawn, soak it in there. Sometimes you can brush it out or use a rag to brush it out, but it makes the broom become like clean white linen too. Yes, you could use it with white linen as well um, to get oil stains out so you might put lotion on and you put your your different oils and a lot of uh new um we have a lot of new folks coming out with the shea butters the shea butter does come out of white linen so you can dip it inside you can dip the dawn inside of that and soak it or you can just spot clean it as well but it does come out of white linen clothes and white linen and clothes cotton for the most part um the broom so when you dip it in the hot water, you just, maybe for 30 minutes, get all the dust and the grime out because you are just sweeping it over and over and over again. You don't, no need to buy a new one. Just reuse it. We all budget friendly. Um, yes, palm oil to be exact. All oils, all oils, it does come out. Um, it should. 
depending on how long you let it sit there. I'm, I'm recommending that you do soak this Dawn immediately in, well, you soak, soak it in dish soap immediately um, after the oil stain. And it usually does come out. The longer you soak it, the better it is, but it's just absorbing that oil. And if that doesn't work, I would suggest talk, talk baby powder, whichever you wanna, however you wanna prefer it, but it, usually, it does come out of linen. Um, back to the broom. Yes, the broom. Clean your broom. It usually takes probably 30 minutes, like I said. Remove it, dry it out, and then you're ready to sweep again. But you have to dry it first before. Leave it outside, let it air dry. But that is a good way to, you know, save your broom. Not too much on the wooden broom because you can kind of, you know, mess it up. But this is for the plastic polyester brooms that most folks do have. And then the last one was ice pack. So if you fill a, um, if you fill your sandwich bag maybe full of Dawn dish detergent, you can use it as an ice pack for injuries. Um, you can use it to cool your food down. You know, you're about to go on a picnic, and you know the day before you realize that you don't have a ice pack. So filling your sandwich bag up, putting it in the freezer, and then um, putting it inside of your lunch pack. Keep it cold. If you have an injury hurting you it's required it's required to leave in there for i think an hour or two two hours and then it, the harder you, the longer you leave it in there the harder the ice pack will become so that is just another way to use soap detergent to get out i mean to use use your soap detergent to make an ice pack for injuries and to keep your food cool so that was my 10 ways on how to keep how to use this detergent so if you guys have any other questions or you want to know any tricks or hacks that you want me to look into and i can deliver go ahead and drop and comment and share share with a friend and don't forget to like um is there any questions anybody okay if not you guys take care stay clean continue to wash your hands continue to press i mean continue to use social distancing we're all in this together. I'm still cleaning as essential employees. I'm out here. Um, and, and you guys take care. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.